believing in God. Go to John chapter 14. This is all about believing God. Yes, he is God, but he says, he says, I am God, but he says, believe God. I want you to believe God. Look what it says in verse number, verse number one. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. He's not saying I'm, I'm a second God. He's not replacing God. He's saying I am God. Just realize who I am and believe in me. In Mark chapter 11, verse 22, the Bible says, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Trust Him. You know, things go through, we kind of get disappointed by some things. You know what? Have faith in God. God's got a purpose for what's going on. I believe that God has spared us from decisions that we would have made a mess of. I believe that God has got a purpose for everything we do. I, don't, I can't explain it. I can't understand it. I remember when we, when I, I used this recently because of, of my own personal life. When I left Florida, I didn't know for sure what God was going to do. I just knew I was, I was going to stop trying to look for a church, the pastor. I was looking, I was like, I was done. I was just going to go to, to my brother-in-law's church in, in Port Washington and just be a bus driver, sing in the choir if they would let me, and sing special music if they would let me. And if I never preached or never taught, that would be fine. I just knew that I wanted to serve God and I wanted to go to a church that preached his truth. And I wanted to go around family, and I wanted to just kind of change around. I couldn't go forward from where I was at. I couldn't from where I was. I couldn't improve. And sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to move in order to improve. That's that's the truth. So, but I trusted God. I said, Lord, I don't understand what you're going to do. I don't understand. It. I'm just going to trust you. Coming up here, I mean, going from Southwest Florida to here, it's a big difference. I mean, hustle and bustle, highways. I just it's like to, to where I was, to where I'm living. It's kind of like. Arm, they call it the armpit of Florida. It is like literally like meth heads everywhere. It's crazy. But I was like, if that's what God wants me to do, then I'll do it. But I only have faith in God. My, my faith is not in any man. My faith is not in any preacher. My faith is in God. Man's going to let me down. Preachers will, let, will mess me up every time. But God won't. Have faith in God. Look, don't put your faith in me. I'm going to fail you. I'm going to say something stupid or do something stupid. Don't trust me. I mean... Don't put your faith in me. <laughs> Don't put your faith in me. Have faith in God, amen? Have your faith in God. And that's one thing we always have to do is, is anybody, teachers, spiritual leaders, anybody, even soul winners, we have to get them to believe the Bible. Get them to believe God. Don't believe me. Look what the Bible says. I've been out sowing with people, and they just quote off verses. They quote, 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 quote. Never open the Bible. Don't do that. I don't want you to trust what I say. Wow. I want you to go to the Word of God and read this for yourself. I want you to go to the Bible. Download the Bible app. Download the King James Bible app and see it for yourself. Don't trust me. Trust the Bible. This is what the Bible says. And you know, these, you know, trying to show someone how they get, how they go to heaven. They, they don't want to look at the Bible. No, 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 no. I want you to read along. Well, I don't know how to read. Well, read along. You know, this is what the Bible says, word for word. This is what it was. I don't quote a verse unless I'm there, because I want them to see it. I want them to, see, I want them to see the gospel. Right. I want them to see what's going on. Why? Because I don't want them to trust me. I want I want you to I want you to go to the Bible on a daily on a daily basis and prove me wrong. I challenge you, prove me wrong. Not because I'm trying to be confrontational or fight or in a fight, but I'm not the authority. The Bible is. Go to the Bible. Alright? So have faith in God.